Welcome and hello. This is a video tutorial on HEC HMS. And in this lesson, I'm going to just show you how to download and install the program. So it's going to be a very quick video here. And if you already have the program installed and loaded up, then go ahead and skip to another video in this playlist. Hydrologic Modeling System HMS is designed to simulate the precipitation runoff process of dendritic watershed systems. It is designed to be applicable to a wide range of geographic areas for solving the widest possible range of problems. You can read more about the HMS in the introduction as well as watching more videos in this playlist. All right, um, what I have on the screen in this tab here is the downloads page. I will leave a link to the downloads in the description to this video, but if uh, it's outdated or for whatever reason you can't find it, you could very well just go to Google, type in HEC HMS, HEC HMS downloads, whatever. Here it is, the first link, Hydrologic Engineering Center, HEC, HEC HMS. When you click on that page, on the left is your menu, and you can just go ahead and click Downloads. And this was the page I was just on. I'll leave the link to. All right, so at the time of this recording, I'm downloading HMS 4.12. So uh, go ahead and download that version. There are earlier versions in this archived versions link here, as well as later versions will probably work just as well, if not better. I'm working on a Windows system here, but if you have Mac or Linux, there's download options for you there as well. So I'm going to just go ahead and click the link to start the download. It looks like the download's completed. My browser's default download location is the desktop here. Now I'm going to click this icon to install. OK. Um, so what happened there was my camera turned off, but I'm back on here. It just asked me yes or no. Does it, do I want to allow it to install? I said yes. Go ahead and click next. Then it asks me if um, I agree to these terms and conditions. And the answer is yes. Click next. Then it's asking for the default directory to install. And I will just, um, yes, I agree with this particular directory. You can change it if you want. If not, just click next. And then if you want a desktop shortcut, you can do that. Click next. And then here's the final bu button click to install. So I will go ahead and install it. And we are done. So I got that desktop icon showing up right here. It'll also be in my program files as well. So I'll click finish. Now, if you want to go ahead and launch the program, you could do so from your start menu just by typing hack HMS. There is the first one. You may want to like pin this to your start menu or your taskbar or use the desktop icon. Either way would work. Again, we need to um, say that we agree to the terms. Click OK. And now we have HEC HMS up and loaded and ready for us to work. So this was it for this video. Just wanted to get everyone up and loaded with downloading and installing HEC HMS.